Hello, this is Mr. Stansberry. I'm going to take you through the notes on constructing Voronoi diagrams. At the end of this, you should be able to say I can construct a Voronoi diagram for up to three sites, and I can find missing edges and sites of incomplete Voronoi diagrams. Okay, so uh, first things first, to find the edge between two regions, so remember an edge, like so if we're looking at the edge between B and C, it's going to be this line right here. So to find the edge between two regions, we find the perpendicular bisector um, of those two points. Okay, so to do that, you find the midpoint of the two sites, find the slope between the two sites, uh, and then you take the slope of the perpendicular line between the two sites, which is to flip it over and switch it. It's officially the inverse reciprocal. Uh, and then graph the line by graphing the midpoint and using the perpendicular slope. Okay, so important formulas for that midpoint add the two x's together divide by two add the two y's together divide by two slope y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 and then the perpendicular slope is again officially the inverse reciprocal which i like to call flip and switch okay so what we're going to do is we're going to construct a voronoi uh, diagram for these sites here okay so let's do this we'll put these sites here in red so we're at negative three four so there's A, B is at 5, 4, and then C is at negative 1, negative 2. Okay, so those are our three, our three sites. So uh, the big thing is we're just trying to find the perpendicular bisector between these two things. So we can go through and use all those formulas, or we uh, on a lot of these we can actually do the smarter, not harder idea. So if you look at this, these are on the same horizontal line, so that means that the perpendicular line is going to be vertical. So all we have to do is find the halfway point. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So halfway over would be 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4, there's the midpoint. So that means our line is going to go through something like that, right? Okay, so that's from A to B. So like, let's say if we've got from A to C, again, since we already have them graphed and we've got our graph, our grid lines here, sometimes this can be easier to do by just simply counting. So one, two, three, four, five, six, six down, and then two over. So if we're gonna find the midpoint, that's gonna be half of the six over two. So six over two, half of that is gonna be three, over one so we're going to down three to the right one there's our midpoint right okay so our slope on this thing is officially from here down there it's down three over one so slope oops sorry about that slope is negative three over one so if you flip that over and switch the sign that is one over three so from there we're going to go up one over one two three and that is going to end up being our line okay now we actually know that wherever it runs into another line that's where that line's going to stop like it's not going to keep going over there because um our like wherever that we we stop when we get to the vertices so really we're not going to need the rest of this blue line right here but we have it so we're just going to have to uh ignore it we'll fix that here in a second so let's do this let's find the um are the vertices between B and C, right? So let's try to see if we can count it again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then over one, two, three, four, five, six. So six and six, if we take half of both of those, we get three and three. So from here, we're just gonna go up one, two, three, over one, two, three. That's the midpoint, okay, and since it's up three over three. That's the same as one. So if we take one and we flip it over, positive one over, officially it's positive one over one. We flip it over and switch the sign. So now we're gonna go down one over one, down one over one, so forth and so on. And we end up getting this line here, okay? So we have these three lines. We don't want the rest of this blue line here, so I'm gonna to try to erase that. Or you know what, I'm just gonna color over it with white so that we can say that it's not there. Okay, so we'll just pretend that that's 
like that. So the, here is now our Voronoi uh, diagram for the sites A, B, and C. When you have the graph, you can make it a lot easier than going through and calculating everything when you can just start counting your slopes and um, and you can do it that way, finding your perpendicular bisector that way. But you can certainly do it by math uh, calculations as well. Okay, this next example three, this Vor Voronoi diagram is missing an edge. Complete the diagram and find the equation of the missing edge. So um, it's going to be between this C and D here. So if you look at between C and D, we go up one, two, three, over one. So we're up three. Let's do that back in blue like we've been doing. Up three over one. Divide really both of those by two. And we get 1.5 and 0 0.5. So really from C, we can go up one and a half and then over a half. There's our midpoint between C and D. And then really here's our here's our slope, right? It's up three over one. So if we flip that and switch it, it's now 1 over 3, and it's now negative. So from this point, we can go down 1 over 1, 2, 3, which is to about right there. And then we can draw our line here, which looks like it's going to run right into that point right there, right into that existing vertex. All right. So it looks like it's about right there. So there is our, uh, there's our line for that one. Uh, there's our missing edge okay now it did ask for the uh, equation of the missing edge so we know our slope um, and we know that one of the points is that let's find a nicer point look here's another nicer point right here so we've got a point at negative one negative two with a slope of negative one third so we can plug that into our point slope formula which is Let's do it over here. Y minus Y1 equals M times X minus X1. So Y minus negative 2 equals M, which is negative 1 third of X minus negative 1. Those both turn into positive. So we get Y plus 2 is, that's 1 third. Uh, distribute the one third through negative one third x minus one third and then we subtract two from both sides and we get y equals negative one third x minus two and a third that's the equation and that looks like that's pretty accurate because we know it's negative one third and that's down one two that looks like about two and a third that makes about sense okay so there's the equation of the missing edge all right, we have one more example to do, but before we do that, let's take a quick little comedy break. Last one here. Find the coordinates of the missing site. So we've got it's going to be something up here, right? So it's going to be equidistant from these two, actually all three of these lines here. Okay, so really what we can do here is this piece here, it's going to be, let's do this. We know that C is one, two, three units away here. Okay, so this line here should be separating C from whatever this is over here. So one, two, three. This should be pretty close to our spot, right? Because if you look from B, again, I hope, let me back up and do that a little slower. So from C, we know that this site over here, let's see, it's got to be B, has to be the same. This is a perpendicular bisector between these two points. So this here is a horizontal line, so it means that it's going to be vertical, straight up and down from it. And if this distance is 3, this distance has to be 3. Okay, we can double check. Oh, B is right there, so this is going to have to be E, isn't it? Okay, so this distance right here is going to be 
3 and this is 3 so let's check it from B so to get from B to say part way over we go up 1 over 2 so we go up 1 over 2 more and there it is the distance over to A we can go down 1 2 and then over 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so we went down 2 and over 8 if we divide both of those by 2 we get negative 1 over 4. So from here, if we go down 1 over 1, 2, 3, 4, that's the halfway point. But B is actually closer, so uh, it doesn't really help out too much with that A. But uh, we do know that this is the correct spot for E. This is the correct spot for E with B. And then basically this point here, any point along this line here, how about this? So to go from A up to this point here, we go up 1, 2, 3, over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it should be the same, but exactly flipped over. It should be down 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and over 1, 2, 3. So that's the exact same distance. Okay. So the coordinates of that missing site there has to be at 1, 2, 3, and then up 1. Okay, and really you can get it just from one of the three. You don't have to do all three like we did, but um, I would try to find the, the nicest one. This one was pretty nice. Again, B was pretty decent too, because you just go up one over two to get to that line in between, and up one over two more, and there you, there you go. Okay, all right, that's all we have for constructing Voronoi diagrams. If you have any further questions, please feel free to ask. Thanks.